In March, when I assumed the duties of director, Air National Guard, I challenge each of you to continue to serve with distinction. All of you carry the flags of our nation, our Air Force, and our National Guard. In many communities, you represent the lone example of military service. Over the past year, our uniformed service has publicly struggled with allegations of sexual assault and criminal behavior. Senior leaders in the Department of Defense, the services, and the Chief of the National Guard Bureau have committed to actively addressing this issue. Sexual assault threatens to undermine the faith and integrity our nation has entrusted in us. As a result of continued allegations of sexual assault and criminal behavior, the Secretary of Defense has issued a directive for all services to retrain, recertify, and rescreen all sexual assault prevention and response personnel and military recruiters. General Frank Grass, the Chief of the National Guard Bureau, is forming a joint planning team to address potential National Guard policy, changes, or directives. Sexual assault is a crime, and it is counter to our Air Force Corps values. Further, it erodes the very foundation of trust our Guard Airmen place in their leaders and this organization. We must do everything we can do to protect our men and women from sexual assault and prosecute those who would attack their dignity and their honor. I expect our commanders and supervisors to lead by example. You must demonstrate exemplary behavior. Live the core values. Second, you need to deliver a message about proper behavior in person. When it came to teaching my children right from wrong, I never asked them to get information from another source, and I certainly didn't expect them to learn proper behavior from a computer-based training module. Commanders and supervisors have to deliver these types of messages with eye-to-eye -eye contact and personal engagement. There is no substitute for this. I will continue to keep you informed regarding developments that come from the National Guard Bureau, the Air Force, or the Office of the Secretary of Defense. As leaders, please remain vigilant and do all that you can do to protect the safety, dignity, and well-being of our airmen. For further assistance or for more information, please contact your Wing Sexual Assault and Response Coordinator. Thank you for your distinguished service to our states and our nation.